Come on now. Got to applaud this right here. Mitch McConnell has done it again. Mitch McConnell and the Republicans just agreed with the Democrats to sign a $1.7 trillion deal to keep the government open. Because we want the government open because they're doing such a fantastic job. And $44 more billion dollars is going to be sent over to Ukraine. Because all the money we sent them has helped them win the war. Now, what I found laughable about this right here is that Breitbart News, I mean, Breitbart is a joke sometimes. Breitbart News is trying to pretend as if Kevin McCarthy is trying to stop. He told him, he threatened him, if they sign this particular bill, they better plan on not getting any of their bills through. Ooh, I bet they're scared now. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're scared now. See, the, the bad cop, good cop doesn't work with me. I'm not going for that. Uh-uh. Can't go for that. No, no can do. I can't go. Was it all in hope? Uh-uh. All in hopes. Can't go for that. No can do. But what I find also funny about this is that all of these people who are acting as if we need to get, this is why we need Kevin McCarthy in there. Wasn't he in there in 2020? <laughs> What has he done? Name me something he's done that you're really, really proud of. Name me three things Kevin McCarthy has done that you're really, really proud of that just screams conservatism. Name it for me. I don't care what the little heifer down in Georgia says. Miss Green down, I used to respect you. Got no respect for you now. Because I think she's attacking Matt Getz and that uh, Bobart woman said that Donald Trump gave you money, Kevin McCarthy gave you money, I gave you money. In other words, we gave you money, just do what we say. Does that sound like a liberal talking point to me? That Representative Green would use that talking and point? And by the way, don't forget that they asked Mitch McConnell, the snapping turtle hybrid uh, turtle, they asked him who was responsible for January the 6th after the committee had issued that Donald Trump be charged he says everybody knows who's responsible for January the 6th, implying that Donald Trump was responsible for January the 6th. Notice he never said anything about the FBI having plants or Nancy Pelosi and the D.C. mayor and all of these folks not wanting the National Guard down there when then former President Donald Trump tried to send them down there. He never spoke on all of these so-called evidence that the FBI ignored what was going on while having implants inside the Proud Boys and probably many more other organizations. See, this is why I don't trust the GOP either. Just think about what he's saying. We're going to give all this money to Ukraine. We're concerned with Ukraine. Our border's wide open. We're sending billions over to Ukraine. You sign this bill to rubber stamp whatever Joe Biden wants. And here he is, whenever he gets the chance, he takes a dig at Donald Trump. And by the way, Kevin McCarthy thought the same thing. Because remember when Kevin McCarthy was saying that he may ask him to step down. Step down for what? Step down for what? This, how can you allow these people to do anything? By the fact, I just saw another report. Remember Kelly Conway, her and that, uh, her husband who looks like a troll or something? She was having dinner with the former governor of New York. Now, she said they've been friends for 20 years. That's all I need to know. Here's a man who was placing the elderly in nursing homes, killing them. <clears throat> she wanted to pretend like this is nothing romantic. We've just been friends for years. Well, isn't it a little suspicious that a man... Uh, uh, who hated the guy you was working for, a man who did nothing but to destroy this country, and y'all are good friends. Just like Kevin McCarthy was shacking up with the poster. Here we have again another one of Trump's people siding with the enemy. And he wonder why he's at home right now, right? Why should I trust anything the Republicans say or do? Everything that the, the, uh, the, the American people want, they do the opposite. Did any of the American people want Mitch McConnell 
and the Republicans to sign this one point seven dollar, I'm mean, sorry, one point seven trillion dollar bill to keep the government open. Open for what? You're not doing anything. So why would I trust anything else they say? See, this is why I got a problem with these 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 zombies who follow everything that somebody says. I don't care if Representative Green says this. Girl, if you don't get back in that stable, <laughs> if you don't get back in that stable, girl, don't make me go down there looking like a Shetland pony or something. But if you think that you can intimidate us and support Kevin McCarthy, they said it's going to get destroyed. It's already destroyed. We already see lawless. How did Joe Biden get away with what he got away with if Kevin McCarthy and the rest of the Republicans are going to do so? How did they get away with what they've gotten away with? Are you kidding me? I mean, are you freaking kidding me? Have you seen the border? Now I saw Greg Abbott telling me he's going to send the National Guard down there. Why you get on TV? You should have been sent them down there. I'm sick of this talking that you're going to do something when you haven't done a damn thing. Yes, I'm going to attack you. Just like I cannot stand the disgusting Democrats. There's a lot of Republicans. I have, I love. Mitch McConnell is one. Lindsey Graham is one. And Kevin McCarthy is another. Shacking up with Frank Lutz in a $5,000 a month apartment. By the way, just, I'm going to just throw this out there. You remember back in 2015 on Passing Note, Kevin McCarthy was supposed to be the speaker then. Some uh, leaked about he was having an affair or something and he redrew his name or something. You remember that? Isn't that a little suspicious? I think it was 2015, if my memory serves me correct. 2015. I don't know if the story was true or not, but he withdrew himself. There was another person from California, another woman from California, uh, that supposedly they had an affair or something. He withdrew his name or something. And notice, you never really see Kevin McCarthy's wife ever with him. And when you do see them together, if you go find a picture of him, she don't look very happy. You got yourself a download. I'm starting to think that Kevin McCarthy may be a download. I don't believe the affair unless it was with a dude. <laughs> I think they're supposed to be going to work for the people because you donated money to them. They got to agree with everything you say. That sounds liberal to me. Anywho, also in this particular $1.7 trillion package, Mike Pence can rest in peace now because they put a special initiative. It was some kind of electoral act of like 1887. And that says that now we want to make it official that the vice president signing the, uh, the, 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 the solidifying the votes is only ceremonial now. See, Mike Pence can stand there and look, Real humble again. Judas can look humble. Get off the cross, Mike. No, you're not being crucified. I just feel like I have a lot of integrity. I've never seen nobody pretend to be so humble. Him and Mitt, Mitt Romney, I don't know who's worse in pretending to have so many principles and it seems so humble. Trash is what they are. Pure trash. Because no matter how much you play humble, if you're allowing the demons to run rampant, you're trash to me. Anyway, the Republicans now, they also said, the Republicans says that they need to get Kevin McCarthy in there because they want to fight for all of these social media platforms who's been suppressing the conservative. I've heard that song for the last at least 10 years almost. <laughs> I've been hearing that song for a long time, and that tune is dead. If you, We're going to bring them there and we're going to question them. I know, they're going to come on TV. You're going to question them, and nothing's going to happen. I've already, I'm familiar with the story. It's the same script you guys have written I don't know how many times. But they want the government to stay open. Now, don't forget that the majority of Republicans voted for Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell has a, a better favorable rate amongst Democrats than he does among, amongst Republicans. But the majority of the Republicans voted him in, too. That's all you need to know. You can't trick me. I won't be intimidated. I don't care if you put me on your little, your, all these little phony Republicans go to their little conferences, and we'll put you on our, our community. We'll make sure you look real smart. You're not stopping anything. The whole United States is being destroyed while you pretend as if you're sticking by your Republican principles, but it's not getting you anywhere. See, Republican principles are different from true conservatives' principles. See, this is why I can disagree with 
things Donald Trump says when he's kissing the butt of a bunch of damn liberals. Hadn't learned your lesson yet, huh, Mr. Trump? Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? 2024, you're going to be highly disappointed again then. If you think that these Republicans are the ones that's going to help you, if you think siding with your enemy is going to do you any good, it's not. Have not the Republicans learned to see? They're not really siding. They're on their side. This is why John Boner, the weeping prophet, came crying over Nancy Below. <laughs> My daughters told me to tell you. That man will cry about anything. He needs to seek counseling. I, I suggest that John Boner gets counseling. The, the, is he still married? Because I can't even see how his wife can be proud of a man who cries about anything. I was looking at my hat. <laughs> this man, honey, this breakfast is so good. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Ridiculous, man. I just filled my car up at the gas station. <laughs> he cries about any damn thing. It's absurd. I'm embarrassed for him. If my daddy cried that much, right now, I said, man, you better shut up, man. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> you don't cut that foolishness out, man. I'll be disowned, my daddy, crying that damn much on national TV. I mean, he cries about everything, man. If he speaks and don't cry, I'm almost amazed. I can't hardly remember a speech that he spoke, as long, especially if it's over five minutes, that he doesn't cry at least three or four times. <laughs> man, just starts crying. This is what's wrong with your Republican Party. See, the John Boners and the, and, and the Paul Ryans, in, in the Mike Pence's, what, the Mitch McConnell's, the Lindsey Graham, what has it gotten you? Are you satisfied in the last 10 years of what the Republicans has done? So let's go pre-Trump, before Trump came in. Are you satisfied with what the Republicans did? Just let's, let's start from 2008, Barack Obama, up into 2016, those eight years. Are you satisfied with what they've done for you? Do you have more rights because of them? So let's just take Donald Trump out the equation before Donald Trump came along. You can go back to George Bush if you want. Are you really satisfied for what they have done for you? Have they really been fighting for you? That's all I got to say. Then you can come to the conclusion that they're not your friends. No matter how much they get on it, you need to support this. I don't need to do a damn thing. <laughs> I don't need to do a damn thing. You want me to get on a bandwagon of somebody who's constantly stabbing me in my back? I just can't ignore that. I got a problem with people who stab me in my back. Uh, call me narrow-minded or whatever. See, I can take a lot of things, but just don't gut me in my back and then say we're going to be friends. We can't be friends. And this is the reason we're in the shape we're in now in this country. is because the Republicans, the so-called Republicans, are just rubber stamping anything the liberals put through. We need to help the people in Ukraine. We need to help the damn Americans. Divide that $44 billion up and give it to the American people instead of Ukraine. Can I see a show of hands of Americans who want a piece of the $44 billion as opposed to sending it over to Ukraine? Got me right here. Where do I sign up at? We can divide it. Working Americans. You can just do do like you did when you did. You tried to send out the little check for the uh, COVID checks. All Americans who, who did the taxes or all Americans who's worked, send them, divide that $44 billion up. Because the, the, the citizens of Ukraine will never get it. And even if they did, I don't care. No, I don't care. I, I know I see, I know plenty of Americans that are suffering right now. So I'm more concerned about American suffering than I am about Ukrainian suffering.